Librans, welcome to Lovers Lane Tarot. I know it's been a little bit since I did a reading for you guys, but we're gonna get into your read right now, okay? Okay. <laughs> so, Libra, either you want someone to forgive you, or someone wants you to forgive them, okay? Um, you want someone to believe that everything is going to be all right or this is how someone is feeling about you in this time they want you to trust them you may not trust this person or this person may not trust you take the energy how it resonates you know what applies to your life and what does not okay discard the rest that don't parts of me are broken i am afraid that i might hurt you if i show you that so you're afraid to be vulnerable with someone could be dealing with the gemini here with that one with the lovers wanting to come out and this is definitely about a lover so this is a love reading of course of course of course so yes look at you you want to apologize to someone you want to make some sort of gesture uh, uh -huh. there's someone that you have that you feel some sort of soul tie soul connection to and how ironic we did have the lovers be the first thing this person dated that shit, okay? Could be dealing with a Scorpio. This person dated the situation. Um, they feel like either you, this Gemini, because we have an eight of swords here. That's Gemini energy. This Gemini could be stuck in their head, um, feeling like they cannot trust you or that you don't trust them, and it's leaving, leaving them stuck. Or someone as well could be, ooh, judgment. Someone could be in jail. Someone could be locked up at this time. Could be this Scorpio that we are discussing here. Um, sometimes I stare at my phone and become stuck. So, yeah. This person could be away from you. They could be from um, another background, ethnicity. Um, I feel like with this, you know, you decided to close this cycle out with this person and move on. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Uh, you could be dealing with a Leo. With this world card, you could have just, you know, put an end to some shit. Yeah. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. This person was toxic as hell. And there was some type, there was some sort of energy that kept you bound to this person. Like you felt like you couldn't get away. Yeah. But I feel like mentally you felt like you had to break free from this situation. More air energy. You felt like you had to break free from this situation. You knew what needed to be done. I don't want to use this deck if I want to use the other deck. Y'all, y'all have to excuse me. My cat be in here tripping sometimes. Strength card. So, you could definitely be dealing with a Leo. With the strength card. This person be having some sharp words for you, baby. Some sharp words for you. Okay? Yeah. Um, some of this, this could be your child's mother. And as I say this, the Empress does come out as well. Some of you could have a daughter and a son with this person. Let me want the strength card. Mm. So, Ten of Swords. You feel like you just can't get anywhere with this person. You feel like this person has stabbed you on the back in some way, shape, or form. Um, when you start looking in the details of some situations, yeah, as I say that, look what comes out, the Ace of Swords. You feel like this person has stabbed you in the back in some way, shape, or form. Okay. So I feel like this person wants to be single. You don't want them single, but I feel like they want to be single. I keep hearing, well, look, I made my decision. This is it. I already told you we're nothing but friends. We're just friends. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. 
You see this person is being very stable. They could be a single parent. They take care of their business. But again, we have the Queen of Blades, Queen of Swords. You want to communicate to, you want to, uh, seven to one. Okay, so this person could have, uh, could have blocked you or changed their number. Yeah, look, ooh. Bitch say get back. <laughs> she said get the fuck back. And I feel like the three of souls was right there. It broke your heart. She said get the hell back. This person made, made it real clear what they, yeah. I feel like though, you want some sort of attention from this person. You want some sort of attention from this person. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Swords. Mm. Okay, so you can be trying to take a leap of faith on this person. You find them very attractive. Like, they light your fire, baby. Something sets you on fire about this person. Or you could just have, like, a lot of different people that you have on your mind, Libra. Who's all these damn women? Libra. And you ain't out here yet. You ain't came out yet. Yeah. You being patient. Because you want to invest in this person. Or you want them to invest in you. <laughs> yeah. I don't think this person trusts you too tough. Tell me about the world in. Page of bonus. What is the page of bonus here? Somebody could be delivered, trying to send you a message. And you're not replying. Or you could be sending this person a message. And they not replying to you. But there's some toxicity in this. So there's something that you're getting ready to find out about this situation. Someone could have been ghosted. Yeah, someone, like I said, somebody was blocked. But somebody could have been ghosted as well. Tell me about the hermit. This moon in reverse in the hermit. Well, actually, no. You know what? We'll go to the next deck, y'all. How about them out? Honey, they getting on my last night these damn motorcycles today. I am so serious. You just can't. Yeah, six of wands. And I say somebody wants some attention. Either this person feel like you're not giving them enough attention. Why is the moon in reverse? Why is the moon in reverse? Wishing, manifesting you star. Huh. So you keep playing this, replaying this scenario over in your head. And I feel like you're manifesting this person. You look at this person as a star. Like this person, they definitely could get uh, a lot of recognition. But this person in this time, they are cutting out com any karmic ties. They are doing the inner work that they need to be done. Someone, though, is remaining in darkness. That's like they, they're kind of dibbling and dabbling on both sides. Like, what's that, riding the fence? Yeah, look at this, King of Souls. Here you go. You finally showed up in your own damn reading, Libra. Yeah, something is over, though. We have the death card here, Three of Cups. You know, you and this person, y'all could party together. Um, it could be three feminines who hang out together. Could be also a fire sign that are now and again, they hang out with you. Look, and as I say, yeah, success, pride, high, pro high profile love. So, you can have people, like, there could be other people that, you know, after your person. Yeah, that sees them as, you know, they want a high level of commitment. And whoever this is... They've known this they've known this person or these people have known them for a while. Or known of them. They may not know them personally. Something about the hierophant. Something about the hierophant. But you feel like there was a lot of passion at some point. 
a judgment. Someone made a, a, a decision. Either you want to reconcile with this person or you want to make up for some past actions for a while. Oh, I feel like someone wants to get married. You don't want to hold back these thoughts anymore. You're ready to settle down, Libra. Mm. Nine of Swords, and you're feeling kind of anxious about this justice. There you go, Libra, finally. You done came out twice, finally. Soul contract. So you want something to finally balance out with you and this person. Um, you can feel like things just don't tend, you know, it's just not balancing when it comes to you and this person reconciling. Yeah, you getting ready to find out that somebody was lying though about something. Yeah. Yeah, the seven of swords. Wow. So you and this person have some sort of codependency. This person tends to bring out your dark side, though. So there's a lesson that you're supposed to be learning from this person. Um, you, I feel like in this time, you or, in your, or your person, I feel like both of you guys could be becoming very, you know, discontent with this four of cups here. Y'all are discontent. Um, it says it's being godly protected, though, that your connection is being protected. And I see that you're patiently waiting, but I feel like you are... I feel like you are... Um, you're kind of bored, restless. Like, you don't know if you should be out having fun with other people. Ooh, Gemini, Twin Flames, Lovers, Ten of Pentacles. So, you see where you and this person can have, like, a beautiful life together, longevity. And again, we have the death card coming out again. And as I say this, the Ace of Cups comes out. Because you see this person, they take care of their shit. They be on a B.I., okay? Look at this, Eight of Swords. I think, I feel like you need to come out of your head, though. You really need to come out of your head. Yeah, four cups. You're just trying to temper yourself. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius for some of you. But, yeah, something has completed. And I feel like you need either you or your person needs to do some healing. Um, for some of you, someone could be married. Um, that you possibly had to walk away from a union. This could be dealing with a Leo. This person could have been pregnant by you at some point in time. But this person is exploring their freedom. They want to be... They want to be single. They want love without a commitment. Um, friends with benefits. You know, this person be asking about you. Are you asking about this person? Um, this person, I feel like they want, you know, you could have invited them out on a date and they rejected you. It's something about someone's intuition told you or told them, nah, keep that shit moving. Nah, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Right, let's see what oracles we have here. Uh -oh. see what, ooh. So, yeah, you look at this person as your two of cups leader. That's what came out next. You are my two of cups. Baby, come back. Hey, you can put it all on me, baby, I, I just can't be without you. Hey, I don't know why, that's what I heard. Baby, come back. You can put it all on me. You like, look, I don't give a damn. You can put it all on me, okay? You can say it was my fault. You can say it was my fault. Yeah, happiness. You focus on your happiness in this time. Well, that's what Spirit wants you to do. You need to focus on being happy. Butterflies can be very significant in this time. Guys, you are flying free. That's what we have for the Libra. My scale. 
what else do we have for the Libra? The scale. Oh, you real quiet, Libra. Truth. You ready to illuminate some truth? Yes, courage to this Leo. There's something that you want to tell a Leo. Or someone who embodies that Leo energy. Mm-hmm. I feel like someone is grieving. You're going through a transformation. Why is truth here? Ooh, okay. And why are you so forceful, Libra? We have boundaries, yeah. I feel like you're getting ready to set some boundaries with this person. Then we have commitment. So you are really grieving that this situation has come to an end. Um, and again, we did have a death card come out twice. But I feel like you and this person are very toxic towards each other. Yeah, the transformation, I feel like you all should just embrace friendship. Um, and for some of you, there could be some friendships where a situation is changing. You all are becoming to accept each other again. Okay? Your animals could be very significant in this time. Um, one card, please. Your animals could be very significant in this time. Um, to a new beginning that you're getting ready to have. Okay, two just want to keep coming out. So, trust and talent. So, life purpose. So, I feel like spirit in this time is trying to push you towards your life purpose. And spirit is telling you that, ooh, okay, what is going on with the cars just flying everywhere? So, it just feels like Libra, you all over the place in this time. Compassion and freedom. Yeah, you all over the place. Ooh, the compassion just flew out like that. No, I right, was gonna take it. So maybe this person is grieving, um, and they don't know how to really uh, handle it. They're trying to find ways to empower themselves. Well, this could be you. I'm not sure. Um, but spirit is saying in this time, have compassion for this person. Something new. Something else can grow from this. So it's all in your perspective and how you look at it with the trust being here. Yeah. Somebody is really addicted to being single, though. But there's a king of pentacles that's looking at you. They don't want you single, darling. Whoever this king of pentacles is, he don't want you single. He holding back for now. But somebody, yeah. Somebody trying to get away with something. Trying to hold back some sort of information. Mm -hmm. They be holding back, mending something, because they may feel like you may reject them. Yeah, with the death card here, they feel like you're going to reject their offer. you going to shut that shit down. They say you're going to shut it down. Yeah. But how you gonna know if you don't take that leap though? Leap? Yeah. Look at this. If you take this leap of faith, mm, mm, mm. happiness, friendship, transformation. If you take this leap of faith, this you're gonna have to leave this behind. For some of you, you are married already. You're in a ten of cups situation, a ten of pinnacle situation. If you're gonna take this leap, you're going to have to leave this behind. There's a sacrifice that has to be made for this happiness to come. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. And y'all was not supposed to go this long. Let me see something. What's at the bottom, man? Seven of Pentacles. 
So you wait and see what's going on with your investment divinely guided karmic partner. There's a lesson in this again. But it's saying your your union, your union is being divinely guided. It's protected. Somebody hiding their feelings though. And I say that four of pentacles, somebody holding back how they feel. But they spying and watching though. Keep them tight, close tabs on your ass. Ace of Wands, Six of Swords, yeah. Somebody ready to move on to better times here. Four, five, a fool, ten of, ten of cups and a ten of pentacles. The moon. So you're hiding this situation because something is complicated. Something is complicated about this situation. Ace of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. A sexual encounter. Money focus. So this person is focused on money. They willing... I mean, wow, and then, you know, for some of you, like I say, some of you, you're married and you're going to have to give up. If you want to take this leap you're, and go in this opposite direction, that you're gonna, this is what you're giving up. You're willing, that means that you're willing to sacrifice your Ten of Pentacles and your Ten of Cups. For some of you, this is what you want with a particular individual. They are your happiness. They are, you know, um, you want to transform this situation. You want it to transcend. But at the same time, this person wants friendship because as we see here i mean it's no secret i feel like whoever this feminine is this is all she wants this is the masculine here the masculine you're ready to take that leap but this feminine she's saying look i got a little pawn time for you when i you know every now and again and sexual encounters that's all i have to offer Cause why? I'm focused on my shmoney. Uh, my, my, my shmoney, baby. Yeah. I have responsibilities that I have to tend to. And right now, um, you just not a part of that equation. Is what I'm saying. And we had a ton of swords here. So we have all tens. So again, and the world card did come out. So yeah, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Tell me about this moon. Tell me about the moon. The devil. Wow. So this person could be toxic. This person could be really toxic. This person could be in their head having very obsessive thoughts. Or this could be you about wanting to deal with someone. Yeah. So, interesting, hold on, one of my cards from the other deck got caught up in there. Let's see, because it looks like you need a little advice. What advice do you have for Libra Spirit? Advice you have for Libra? So somebody's getting ready to get their karma. Good or bad. Depends on what part you're on on the wheel. And you know, I always remind you guys, karma is not about good and bad. Karma is about balance. Here we have the eight of wands. So you're ready to communicate to someone. You want to communicate. Page of Pentacles. You want to make amends in the situation. Um, mm, we have the high priestess. We have the queen of cups. We have the strength card. So you want to mend something with a Leo, High Priestess, Six of Pentacles, ooh, 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 Queen of Cups. Somebody loving up on themselves, baby. They only, right in this time and in this moment, they're only thinking about their, their uh, family, their family situation. The chariot came out in the reverse, which means that this person is not, they don't feel like that this relationship is worth them altering their destiny for. 
Um, and this may hurt you. Yeah, four of pentacles is right behind it. So this is, yeah, this is why they're holding back. Yeah. So this Leo, you look at that, you look at them as your empress. You want to marry this person. Or you already are married to them. You want to marry this person, but you want to mend things. Or you could have a child with them, knight of swords, but you and this person have very sharp words with each other. Very sharp. Tell me about the high priest of six of pentacles. High priest of six of pentacles. Knight of wands. Then I say this person wants to explore their options. They just want to live free. And that's their intuition is telling them to do. Um, for some of it, it could be the secret. This is what you don't know. They are out here entertaining other people, okay? Queen of Cups and the Cherry Reverse, Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person feels like y'all have already been through enough. It's not progressing. It's not going anywhere. Seven of Wands. This person could have blocked you. Um, we do have a match because the King of Cups wanted to come out right here. So y'all do have, y'all are a match. Um, but y'all are very guarded. Y'all can become off very manipulative. And y'all are very guarded about your emotions. Instead of you all being vulnerable and actually showing each other emotions, y'all decide to go into that four of pentacles energy. Um, and then, you know, and y'all keep moving away from each other. You have the six of pentacles, I mean the six of swords, and you have the world card. It's a dove. Spirit is saying, let this go. Move on. Time to heal yourself with the four swords here. Time for you to focus on you and heal yourself, Libra. So, that's what I have for you, my Libras. Hope these messages help. Hope they resonate. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. And I will see you guys in your next read. Peace.